In Burma, dissident protests against the military junta are continuing, and so is the government's crackdown. But what role does China play in influencing the military regime? The Real News speaks with former BBC editor and Burma specialist Larry Jagan. The Burmese are incredibly chauvinistic and xenophobic. General Tan Shui and the senior members of the military do not bow to anybody. Now, China is their most important ally. There's no question about that. China is a country we, to whom they will listen. But what we've been seeing in the, la, in, in, in the last year or two is that China has become worried about the long-term stability of the military regime, that they have been trying to convince the regime to move forward on the national reconciliation policy. They have been wanting to see some kind of economic and political reform, not necessarily democracy in a Westminster style. And I think the very fact that the Prime Minister came out on the weekend to advise the military regime to use constraint to re-establish peace and stability in Burma and, for the, and urge the regime to make progress towards democracy and development, I think really is a very important indicator that Beijing is not happy with what's going on in, in, in Burma and is warning the regime. They have been pushing the UN as a way to find a compromise. So they do not want to get involved bilaterally. They want to be in a position to say, say to the regime, look, we support you, but you need to do something to appease the international community. That they have been pushing since December last year for America to open a dialogue with the SPDC. China and India both have competing interests in Burma, and the Indian uh, diplomats tell me we've lost completely. The Chinese uh, dominate, and it's damage limitation, and obviously both countries are very keen to get their hands on the natural resources, particularly the gas uh, and offshore oil. India is not prepared to do very much. They certainly are not going to press Rangoon, and they don't have any influence. The Chinese are the only ones who have some influence. And the Chinese always say to me, you exaggerate our influence. You think the regime does what we want. That's not the case. But we have more influence than anyone else. But they still ignore us when, when it suits them. So I think there is a limit to how far China is going to go to push the regime. But they know that at some stage, change will come. And that if they aren't in a position to say, hey, we had something of an even hand, they'll lose their contracts if not while the military government's in power when the Democrats take over. So uh, I think China is being very careful. But certainly, they are not going to take a Western approach. I mean, no country in Asia is going to take the Western approach of sanctions. The Asian position, and, and one which I actually agree with, is that one must engage the regime. That is the only way to encourage reform. And the only difference I have with many of the regimes is I think engagement doesn't have to be appeasement. China is the only country that can make a difference.